this is this is too much. <laughs> oh my goodness, this one I would never forget. This one I would. Who would have thought that you'd make that kind of sacrifice for me? Eh? <laughs> Let me tell you, I would never forget you. Of course, this means a lot to me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, I would have to call you back um, uh, much later. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Of course, I won't forget. Uh, uh, Thank you. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Obwefi <laughs> Rudike. Obwefi Irudike. Eh? The most honorable man that I know outside my father is a If I like one name of his, you know, Obwefi. It is always good to see you. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Eh? Thank you for the compliment. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. Please. <laughs> eh? Once again, thank you. Oh, oh yeah. Ah. This visit is all announced, I must say. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would you like to take? Uh, Your Majesty, I'm fine. I am not in the mood. You're fine? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, all well and good. Uh, so, uh, to what do I owe this unscheduled visit? Oh, well, Your Majesty, I will go straight to the point. Mm. This is exactly six months since your wife, the late queen, was buried. Traditionally, you are supposed to take another wife that will keep your bed warm equally assist you in ruling our people, and most importantly, to perform a queenly role for the women of this kingdom. You have spoken well, Irudike. Um, but I assure you that I am doing all that I can to find a new queen. Your Majesty, if you are crawling in that direction, I have come to advise you that you start running towards it. <laughs> yes. Why? Your Majesty, the kingdom needs a queen that will perform sacred roles for the well-being of the women of this kingdom. And if that all-important role is not performed in the next two months, Your Majesty, I am afraid the gods will be angry with you. And of course, you know how it always looks when the gods are angry with the people. I hear you, Irudike. I assure you, however, that I'm doing all that I can. And I also promise to hasten the process of finding a new queen. Oh, Your Majesty, I think that will be all for now. I'll beg to take my leave. That will be all. Thank you for caring, I must say. Hello. Andy, how are you? I'm fine, my princess. But Ogwefiru Dike is just leaving the palace, my princess. He was with my brother. Yes, my princess. Why? I do not know at the moment, my princess. But I will find out why he's here and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Do not only find out why he came. 
find out what he discussed with my brother. I will investigate that, my princess, and I will get back to you later. Thank you. You're welcome, my princess. You can go. What do you want with my brother? Finally, the king is getting married. Wow. And that is the reason for the fresh air we are receiving in this palace. You know, ever since the queen died, the presence of a queen has eluded this palace. But I'm glad now that we are going to have another one. Yes, the lucky maiden. Who knows what she really looks like? Well, I may not really say because I don't know her. But whoever that comes as the queen will not be anything less than a goddess. Wait, Jane, why would you say that? Ha. You and I know that our <laughs> king has eyes for good things. Exactly. Wow. I mean, I overheard you, so it's true. So the king wants to take a wife. Oh, yes. Oh, Wefi Iridike just reminded him that he has to get married as a matter of urgency. Bam. But you know there is a problem. What problem? The king might take a wife and she serves as a wife alone, but not the queen of this land. Oh, God, Erima, please, please, we do not have time for your logic this hot afternoon. Whoever the king marries automatically becomes the queen of the land. Mames. Like, exactly. Or do you even think the king will have a wife here and a woman outside will be the queen? I wonder. Listen, we are just maids who work in the palace of Isionyanato Kingdom. And we must understand that the rules here is different from other places. Hey! I don't even, I don't really understand this girl. Don't understand her. I am happy that the king is, is about to get married. Simple. Again. And we are going to have a new queen in the palace. Please, let's go. Come in. My princess. Ogwifu Duque was here to remind the king he needs to get married. Really? Yes, my princess. And what was the king's response? The king told him that he already had that in mind. But Wilfrid Duque further pressured him. Then the king succumbed to his pressure and told him he was going to get married sooner than later, my princess. Is that all? Yes, my princess. You can go. Thank you, my princess. And Yes, my princess. Thank you for being such an amazing guard to us in this palace. You are deeply appreciated. Thank you, my princess. Saving you gives me joy, my princess. You can go now. Thank you, my princess. The time I've been waiting for is finally here. And I have to act fast. Fast. How are you? Fine. How are you? I come sit down, sit down. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what can I offer you? Uh, what do you can Don't bother yourself, Richie. I'm fine. Just like that? You don't want to take anything? I'm okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. 
So, what's the message? <laughs> Ichie, hmm? the king has finally decided to pick another wife. Is that so? Uh, when was this decision taken? Today, after Obo Efirudike visited him. Ah, this is good news. <laughs> You've done noble, eh? Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll get back to you soon, eh? I'll call you. Let me give you something for, uh, for your transportation. <laughs> yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. Yeah. Let me go back to the <laughs> Okay, family. my dear. Hi. Thank you very much. Time has finally come and we are going to make good use of it. <laughs> we will make good use of this time. <laughs> and here comes the bright morning star of the Sionata Kingdom. Huh? My sister, the one that I shall continue to hail as an amazing woman. Brother, please don't start. <laughs> but you are my morning star. And I shall continue to hail thee forever. <laughs> <laughs> your wife will be your morning star, not me. Oh well, you're here. I can see you right in front of me, sparkling as my morning star. When she arrives, then we'll get to decide if indeed she is or not. <laughs> Speaking of that, when is she arriving? You speak my mind at all times. This is why I have invited you to come talk with your brother. Huh? Okay. Sit down. I have something to say to you. Interesting. I have decided to remarry and give Isio Yenato another queen so that it would not be said that I am the reason things are not functioning well in this kingdom. Beautiful. I <laughs> love this idea. Nice idea. I do love it. I love it. Um, you know, I always had it in mind to remind you, but I was looking for the right time. And when is the right time? Now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> um, that reminds me. Obwefi Irudike was here an hour ago. Oh yes, he was. I hope you did not have a drink with him. Why would you ask that? That man is diabolic. And men like that have no problem taking a life, not minding the consequences. Wave Hirudike is not evil. Neither is he diabolic. He's just very traditional. That's all. We are actually saying the same thing. Tradition has a lot to do with diabolism. That is why I'm not comfortable with that man around you. Mm. Oh well, uh, I believe that um, with time you get to know him and you see for yourself that he is not evil. Not at all. I hope so. Um, uh, now is the time for us to perfect all that we have planned. Mm -hmm. This is the time for us to perfect it. So, that's why I've called you. Let's. Hmm? You, you are right. But how do we get it to materialize? Iche, we already have three girls penciled down for this job. So we only need to bring them in. 
Uh, there might be changes to those plans. There might be changes. In fact, there have to be changes to those plans. <laughs> how, how do you mean? Uh, you see, we need to look at those girls holistically. You understand? I, I don't understand what that means. You see, we need girls that will operate with us at the same frequency, you know, at the same level. They have to vibrate at the same frequency that we vibrate. You understand? So that whatever we want them to do, they will be ready and willing to do it at the time we want them to do it. These are the girls we need for this job. Eh? <laughs> I, I now understand what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. yes. You see, because along the line, eh, we may decide to go wired or even diabolical. You understand? And uh, the, whoever we are using must be ready and willing to mm, go along with us. It's a no no. You have a point. Why not? Yeah. So, but uh, how many guests are we looking at? Two or three guys should do. Two or three. Uh, but I thought we already have uh, a particular girl in mind. Uh, we're thinking along that line. But, uh, you know, we, we don't have to put all our eggs in one basket. Yeah? <laughs> so, when you have a plan A, you must have plan B, even C. Exactly. Yeah? Nkaga don't kaga, is aga gegene, was aga. That is it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, that is good. Yeah, so, I think, um, in actual fact, we have to get the girls ready before the king will now choose the maiden for the marriage. Exactly. I am working on that. The guests, as a matter of fact, will be with us in our next meeting. <laughs> They'll be oh my, here. Oh my God. Let me take some. Oh, it is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. Ada, let's go straight to why I am here. You see, I've not told you what you did to the king to love you like this. <laughs> Joy, you've started again. No? Well, I did nothing. It's not true, Ada. Come on. We have beautiful and classy girls dying for the king. But the king chose to love you. Ada, you're telling me it's ordinary. Mm -mm -mm. I, don't be, I don't believe you on this one. I don't believe you at all. Joyce, what are you trying to insinuate? So you are trying to tell me that I am not beautiful enough for the king? Dada, you are beautiful. Well, all I can say is that um, the king is God's gift to me. That is all I can say. Do you know why I'm asking you this? Why? There is this guy asking me out. This, this guy is cute. He has money. But the girls won't allow him to concentrate. I've been to his house in three different occasions. I met three different girls. That is just the problem. It's a red flag, my sister. You don't need such guy. Please, don't go there. Ada, this guy loves me. And I'm falling in love with him too. But the problem I'm having right now is the girl running around him. That is just my problem. Then you have to pray. Hello. I do go. Okay, Kima. At the moment, my king. I trust you're doing well. Yes, my king. And you? Uh, well, I'm okay. I'm here. Running the affairs of the palace, as usual. Um, I do go. I would like for you to come to the palace this weekend, if you have the time, of course. Um, that is because I want to introduce you to um, the elders in council and also my family members. 
Yes, my king. I, I, I will. I will be free. Uh, that is good to know. Uh, thank you very much for obliging. <laughs> I do. Okay, so um, I'm going to tell um, the chief driver of the palace to come get you. Huh? Okay, my king. Thank you very much. So tell me, um, what are you doing for the rest of the day? My king, I'm at the shop. A friend visited and um, I'm just having a discussion with her. Is that so? Yes. Okay, let me allow you. Uh, have some time with your friend. Oh, okay, my king. Thank you very much. We'll talk again. Bye. Bye, bye. He's inviting you over to the palace, right? How did you know? Come on, Ada. I saw it in your response. My dear friend, I am happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank Congrats. you. My princess, welcome. Thank you, Angela. I didn't even know you were coming. Um, it's, it's urgent, so I had to, I had to rush down. Okay, so what if you did not meet me at home? I would have waited for you. Are you serious? <laughs> of course, that's how serious it is. Yee. Welcome, Mo. You're welcome. So, what do I offer you? We have orange, mango. I don't know if Udara is still remaining. Angoli, like I said, you don't worry. I'm good, okay? I'm all right. Are you sure? If I wanted it, you know I would. I would have said so. Okay. <laughs> welcome. Okay, um, let me go straight to why I came. Okay. Um... There is something very serious I want us to talk about. Okay. You know, I have always told you that that I see you as the next queen of Isionyenato kingdom. My princess. My princess, you always said that to me, but I've always considered it to be a joke. Well, Angoli, it is not a joke. Because my dream is about to come through. How? Good. My brother, the king, is about to remarry. And um, I want you to be my brother's wife. Me? Yes, son. Ha. My princess. Mm -hmm. Are you joking? Do I look like I'm joking? Rather, the question is, Anoli, will you marry the king? <laughs> My princess, you know I like your brother. I like your brother so much. And I would like to be his wife if, if he will look at me. Then consider it done. Well, that is all that matters. The most important thing is you like him. <laughs> now you have to start putting yourself together because soon I will introduce you to him. Hey. My princess. Is this real? Mm. It is real, my darling. And it's happening now. Um, we have to make this discussion as uh, simple and quick as possible so that you may ask questions. Uh, that is, if you have any questions to ask. No problem, sir. I'm listening. Good. How would you feel if you are to become the wife the king of Isuyenato kingdom. <laughs> it wouldn't be a bad idea, my respected elders. <sighs> Good. We want you to marry him. That is if you want to. Of course I want. But my question is, why me? You have the qualities of a queen, my dear. That is number one. 
The second thing is that we know you can handle the weirdness that might arise in the process of achieving this goal. You sound like you know me so much. <laughs> you see, we didn't just settle for you. We ran a background check first about you. Mm. You men do strange things. That is why we are men. Eh? Uh, any man who cannot trigger and sustain strange things is not a man. In fact, he's not worthy of that appellation, man. I'm fully in. Good. Good. Um, uh, I want you to understand something. Uh, for every good idea, there is always an ulterior motive. Yeah? I hope you know that. Yes, I do. But I would like to know what you want in all this. Beautiful. I will let you know. You see, we want to control the affairs of royalty in East United Kingdom. Yes, we want to become major stakeholders in royalty here in this kingdom. Now that I know what you want, I'll do it for you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the case is closed. <laughs> uh, is, um, I think we should commence the process immediately. Not yet. But why not? We have to take an oath to seal this agreement within us. is my name. Sorry about that. So you're coming now from here. You live around here? No. I came to see Iche Zenunu and his friends. Really? Yeah, to have a lovely day. Obwefi. It's a foolish man that thinks he's wiser than the God. What could she be doing with this evil man? I just hope it's not what I'm thinking. Anyway, it's none of my business. So, how did the meeting go? You see the meeting? <laughs> what happened today, eh? What happened today, eh? Ie Jirika has always been a troublemaker. It took us two good hours to settle the fight she started before the meeting begins today. Ie Jirika again. Eh? I got what wrong with you, Nobuda, Mama. So who did she fight this time? Hmm. It's not who she fought. Though. 
she fought virtually everybody to that meeting. And a boy on her daughter, and a kiri, call a woman, they say. Mama, it's madness. Madness, my dear. <laughs> Forget it, Jirika. You said there is something important you want us to talk about. Mwa, Come Mama. and sit down. Mama, I'm fine here. I'm fine. Mwa, ba mo There is something the princess told me. The princess? What could that be? She said that. She wants her brother, the king, to marry me. Chelo? No, now. It's not true. <laughs> this is too good to be true. The same thing I said when she mentioned it to me. But as the discussion progressed, I found out that she meant it. Chelo, are you serious? Tell me, what did you tell her? Ha! Mama, I need to hang away. Tell me now, come on. I told her that I would like to marry the king. <laughs> You see, you can have eh? She now said she would take me to go and see him. Hey, you macho, no go in, emego no kana. That means very soon I will answer the mother of law. Nya ne no law. You can have my mom, eh? Daro, eh? Timo. This is what I want. Hey, we bru ne law law na zangi di bam bam. Mama. <laughs> that place will fit you. <laughs> Is it? Why are you joking me? Did you see that? What? Andy just walked into the princess's private living room. Is that one a new thing? It's not. What? Does that mean he has been going there? It's a day-to-day -day activity, okay? Just that I don't know what they do behind closed doors. Are you saying he chops the princess? I didn't say that, okay? But it is what it is. I mean, Andy is a man. That means the princess has no class. How could she descend so low to be sleeping with an ordinary guard? Hold it. Andy in all round is a matured man. Okay, he's neat, coordinated, presentable. I mean, it is the princess's choice. The king will be disappointed in her. Yes. Can you just cut this thing? You said Andy entered the princess's chamber, right? Yes. Let's go. I need to hear the princess. Ma! Jane! Once again, happy birthday, Andy. Thank you, my princess. I wish you all the best in life. Um, here, these are for you. Wow. Wow. Inside one of these bags, you will find the sum of 50,000 naira. 50,000 naira. And every other thing inside is yours. Thank you, my princess. You're so kind. Thank you. Oh Thank you so much. Andy, you are a very loyal and faithful servant. You deserve everything that is coming to you and even more. Thank you, my princess. Thank you so much. And also, I have asked the chef to bake a cake for you. Wow. There will be a celebration of your birthday later today once the cake is ready. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, my princess. You should stop thanking me, Eddie. Like I said, you deserve this and more. Okay? Thank you so much. Take your gifts and Thank go. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you once more, princess. Andy, just keep being good, okay? Thank you, my princess. You're welcome. Thank you. But why did it take the king so long to remarry? Come on, Ella, it's just six months. Six months is not just a remark. People like you makes things difficult. I mean, the man just lost his wife and he needs to mourn her properly. I am not against the king mourning his wife properly. But moving on is where the problem lies. As you can see, Ella, the king is already moving on with another lady. So, there is no cause for alarm. I honestly pitied the king during the period of mourning his wife. How? 
you know, as a man, that blood runs through his veins. He needed something soft to do away with the death of his wife. You're right, Ella. The king has self-control and that is why I like him. You know, one night, I decided to go to his room to be with him. <laughs> what is it? You did what? Erima, I am being honest with you. Eh? But just by his doorside, I saw the, the princess and I diverted immediately. Ella, you have a problem. You have a serious problem. Wait, Erima, I don't understand. Am I not a woman being? Look at me. Wait, don't I look good for the king? Please excuse me. Chanka. Be with the king. Mr. Zadima, I put you in charge of that company because I trust you. I believe in your level of competence. I put you in charge of that company because you are a tested and trusted hand. You're an alumni of the same business school that I attended. I put you in charge of that company because I trust that you will be conscious of your name and not run that business aground. If you have to call me every day to give me updates when it concerns decision making, why then have I put you in charge? Ah, uh, Mr. Zalima. <laughs> I'll have to call you back later. The bright morning star of our family just stepped in. And I cannot keep the princess waiting. Yes. I am what sort of. I can see you're busy, brother. Yes, that was me sorting Mr. Zadima out. Okay. He calls me almost every day to give me updates uh, on what's happening with the company. I put in his hands. Sometimes it's tiring, you know. Do you have a problem with the constant goals? I have a problem with the concept of work delegation being toyed with. You know, if he has to call me every minute, then the essence of delegation is lost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't you think so? True. You're right. What's on your mind? There's a lot in your eyes. I can see through you. Is it be Marizioko one? I knew it. I know you want something. My dearest brother. Okay. What do you want? I am so proud of you. I am. Thank you. But brother, I have come to find out if you have a maiden in mind. Yes, I do. Really? <laughs> Who is she? Her name is Adugo. Um, where is Adugo from and who are her parents? I see you have questions. But I have good news for you. She'll be here in a few days. Then you can have a conversation with her one on one and ask all the questions that you want to ask. I see. So, when exactly is she coming? Weekend. Interesting. That means we have, um, we have to give her a bit of royal welcome. As we should.
Listen, how else do you want me to tell you that you have to notify me first before coming to my house? I tried calling, but he didn't pick. So I decided to come. I don't like it. Simple courtesy demands that you notify me before coming to my house. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Okay? What do you want? I brought you a gift. I don't want your gift. <laughs> then you're still angry with me. I am not. Then accept my gift. Listen, is it by force to accept your gift? Eh? I do not want your gift. So when you are done standing here, you leave! Rubbish. My no, Rita. You gift for me. What's my love. How else am I going to explain to her that I'm sorry about what happened? Eh? Anureka? Honey? Babum? Andy, your cake is ready. Wow, thank you, my princess. You're welcome. Do you know the king has chosen a wife for himself? No, my princess. Yes, he has. And I want you to find out if this said girl is related to Wavy Irodike in any way. I will do that with ease, my princess. And I also want you to find out everything about this girl. Who her parents are. Her friends. What she does for a living. Everything about this girl. I will do that, my princess. Thank you. You're welcome, my princess. When should I expect a report from you? By the end of today. I will give you a complete report about that, my princess. Thank you. You're welcome, my princess. You can go now. Thank you, my princess. And Andy. My princess. The king will be celebrating your birthday with you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, my princess. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You can go. <laughs> How are you, my son? Mama, I'm not fine. Eh? What is wrong with you? Mama, Anorika is my problem. She's still, she's still angry with me. No, that is not true. I've spoken with Anorika extensively on that, and she has promised me that she has let go. Oh, no, Mama. Mama, she told me the same thing, but she's not acting it. What did she do? 
I went to see her and she did not even care to give me a seat to sit down. Why? She said I, I, I visited without informing her. Uh, but um, you should have called her before going to see her now. Over on your job. Mama, I called her more than 10 times and she did not pick my calls. Oh. So I was like, maybe something bad has happened. You were a busy kid here. Don't worry. When I get to the house now, eh, I will talk to her. Narurana, Nguyoko. Mama. Mama, I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it, Mama. Um, uh, I love Anureka so much. Mm. And I want to make her my wife as soon as possible. Hey, so bad, Mama. When you see her, tell her you love her, not me. Uh, mama. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mama, eh? let, let me drop you off now. No, 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 don't worry. I bought a bunch of plantain and I forgot it at the market. I need to go back to the market to bring it. Eh? Don't worry, Mama. Oh, see you later. <laughs> Who amongst you will be in charge of the catering this weekend? It's me, my king. I'll be having an important guest this weekend. It is very important that you give her a royal welcome. But most importantly, I'd like for you to prepare her a royal dish. We will be at our best, Your Majesty. Would you be needing anything to make this a success? My king, we have all we need. I will not accept anything other than the best. We will deliver, my king. I can trust you, eh? Yes, yes my king. king. I still insist there is no need to involve another girl. Uh, listen, uh, there is need for it. There is every need for it. Yeah, we can't afford to make mistakes, otherwise our dreams will be shattered. Hey! I, with the discussion we had with Abegeri, I agree with Elana. All we need to do is to fortify Abegeri, and she can do the work. Both of you are not seeing what I am seeing. Yeah? The battle ahead is tough, very, very tough. And if, if, I mean, we can't afford to make mistakes. I mean, to win this battle, we must have viable alternatives. That is it. So, so what is keeping her? Uh, well, she'll soon be here, don't worry. Uh, from all indication, I understand that you know this game, you know what you're doing. <laughs> all we need to do is just to follow your lead. <laughs> that is it. Now you are talking, eh? Now listen, just trust me on this. This one, trust me, we will smile at the end of the day. Eh? We will smile at the end of the day. This is Ichenu. <laughs> Ichenu, that's it. Uh, I, I guess uh, she's the one knocking. Uh, come in, please. Greetings, my elders. Oh, well, uh, but you kept us waiting. Why? I'm so sorry about that. Please, I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, so let's get down to it. Sit down. Okay, thank you very much. So, just accept that you're wrong. Period. Mama, I didn't do anything wrong. Eh? I mean, why would JT come into this house without my knowledge? Why? Well, he said he called you and you refused to pick your call. The reason he shouldn't have come here in the first place. I don't want to have anything to do with him again. Or by force. Ha! Are you still angry with him? To be honest with you, Mama, I am still very much angry with him. Eh? Can you imagine? Oh, you told me you have forgiven him. Mama, I have forgiven him. But I cannot forget. Hey! Here, JT, Mama, I cannot forget. I can't. I can't forget. Tell this young man to his face that you don't want him again than this your hide and seek game. Mama Bikoka Ipatozo. Osogini, let's discuss. Let's talk about this one. Let's deal with this one once and for all. Mama, I don't want to have anything to do with JT again. It is over. I have moved on. Let him do same. Come 
since my princess. You have news for me? Yes, my princess. Speak. Her name is Ataugo. She's from this kingdom. Her parents are late. She is a tailor by profession. For my findings, um, she's from a good home. What is the name of her late father? Chief Ugochinere Ifekumeludike. Her father was an honorable to my grandfather. Yes, my princess. I see. Thank you very much, Andy. You're welcome, my princess. You may go. Thank you, my princess. Um, you all know that I am not the birthday type. But you see, my sister, the princess, has dragged me out here for a very good reason. To honor one who has proven to be a loyal servant. Andy, step forward a little. That's it. Look at him. <laughs> it's your day today. Uh, <laughs> and you're grinning ear to ear. Um, Andy, you came in here as a kid when my father, the late Ifadi Kamwane, was king of his Yonyanato. And even after he passed on, you remained loyal. You stayed with us. And now, look at you. You have grown. And we are proud of you. I love you. My sister loves you, and that is why we're celebrating you today. You are indeed a loyal servant, and we wish you nothing but the best. And we say a very big happy birthday to you. Thank you, happy Majesty. Birthday. And for being a loyal servant, I have decided to increase your pay by 50%. My Thank father you. once told me that the best way to appreciate one that has done very well is to give them more work. Mm -hmm. uh, and for that reason, I have decided to promote you from just a palace guard to my personal servant. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Majesty. So, yeah. Thank it you. is safe to say that you're my PA now. Thank you, Majesty. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. My personal assistant. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. I pray that you shall experience more love, more fulfillment See. the rest of your days here. See. Um, I want you to celebrate with your peers. It's your day. Make it as fun and as memorable as you can. Thank you. Uh, I love you from a special place in my heart. And I hope that those that came after you would learn what loyalty means from you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I believe my work is done here. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, enjoy yourselves. Thank, Thank you, you so much, brother, you. for honoring my invitation. And I'm sure Andy here is grateful and he appreciates this. I am sure. So much. I am yes, sure. He's grateful. Uh, I will work harder for the betterment of this palace and the kingdom at large. <laughs> I trust you. Thank Have fun. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so. I believe everyone is excited. Yes. <laughs> Let's say congratulations to Andy. Congratulations! <laughs> so this is now the new PA, personal assistant to the king. Mm -hmm. Andy, congratulations. Congra okay. Congratulations. Right, let's move in. <clears throat> everyone grab a call. <clears throat> um, 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 hold on, hold on. China <laughs> Because. Always the busy one. <laughs> okay, um, before we move on, we would cut the cake and sing a happy birthday song for Andy. Okay? At the spelling of love, Andy, you will cut your cake. Love which signifies the love we all have for you here. You are loved, Andy. Mm. And I want you to always remember that, okay? Thank you, Your Majesty. Erima, now you can open the cake. Okay, my friends.
we need a prophet to tell us that the princess is in love with Andy. I don't think so. And that's because you have eyes, but you cannot use them to see. The princess is only being nice to the poor guard. <laughs> Jane, I am surprised you cannot see what is happening right under your nose. Listen, the princess is a lively person, okay? <laughs> On my birthday, both of you witnessed it that she gifted me a wristwatch. I know. And that was because your father personally told her to take good care of you while you serve in the palace. Oh, honestly, I don't think that what the princess displayed back there is just being nice. Something is attached to it. <laughs> you know what? Both of you are entitled to your own opinions, okay? <laughs> Well, you are right, but it's just one day. One faithful day. The truth will come to light. Let's go. Andy. Yeah. You didn't tell us you were having an affair with the princess. Wait, what do you mean? That? What kind of a question is that? Because I do not understand what you guys are talking about. Can you please shed more light? I don't understand. Andy, did you see what the princess did back there? He dragged the king to attend your birthday. <laughs> Have you ever seen the king attend anyone's birthday? See, bro, all I can say is this, you're too much. But in all you do, remember me in your kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> can you just stop this madness already? Can you just stop all this nonsense already? How is it even possible for me to date the princess? She's just been nice to me. Please, turn down that nonsense down. Will you, will you stop this, this, nice. this, this talk, Joe? See, let me tell you. We are all guys. We know what they happen for this palace. Exactly. And just so you know, one thing about a woman who is in love is that she can never, never hide her feelings. Bam. <laughs> I am totally disappointed in all of you. How is it even possible? For me to date the princess. How? Are you guys thinking at all? Bros, calm down. Leave that in. What makes you think is not possible? Would the princess get herself pregnant? Oh, yeah. I don't know. She needs a man like Andy to do the job. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> now I can see that you guys need to get your head checked. You're all sick. Sir? Get back to your jobs. See, see. Every information you would need is already provided. Mm -hmm. um, your job is to drive the lady to the palace carefully. Well understood, Your Majesty. I want you to know that the lady in question is very important to me. So I need you to be very careful. I will be at my best, Your Majesty. I've never disappointed you. I hope I didn't keep you waiting for too long. Uh, no, 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 not at all. Um, why did you request to see me? <sighs> Anureka is giving me a headache. What did she do? She's still angry with me. That's not possible. I talked to her myself, and she told me convincingly that she has forgiven you. <laughs> she was lying to you. Yes. She has not forgiven me anything. So tell me, what exactly did she do this time? I went to see her at her place, but she walked me out. What? How would she do such a thing to you? Ijoma, please help me talk to her. I love her Nureka so much and I want to make her my wife as soon as possible. She means the whole wide world to me. It's okay. I will talk to her. I believe she'll have a change of mind. She's my friend. Hmm. I know how to handle her. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh,
a foolish man that thinks he's wiser than the gods. He's young and I thought, yeah, yeah. I don't never see no good than you are. Uh, like we discussed, eh? uh, we have to follow it up. Because that girl must not live in the palace. Or might be there. She will not. Huh? If she only knows what is coming. She wouldn't have accepted marrying the king. <laughs> I really pity that girl. <laughs> uh, listen, we'll deal with her until of own volition she runs away from the palace. Yes, yes. listen to me. <laughs> I've learned that, I've laid out my plans. Yeah? <laughs> one after the other. One after the other. No, no, no. Yes, no, no. Until she. Huh? To you too. Greetings, our respected elders of our land. Huh? Eh? Elders in council of you, Sonyanato. It gladdens my heart to present to you today. Adu daughter of late Ugochiye, Ifu Kumela. She is the one that I have chosen to make my wife. Wait. Is it to go to the local government worker? Absolutely. Wow. My dear, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, no. Thank you very much, sir. She's beautiful. And I believe she'll make a good wife for the king. We don't need a prophet to tell us that. <laughs> Adugo, once again, you're welcome to the palace. Feel free to ask any question. for good things. Well, well, well. Let's just pray that she lives up to the expectations. Listen, you know, sometimes physical look is not a problem. Character oh. is the determinant. I mean, it's character that makes one a good queen, not by physical look. She looks humble. And I know that is one of the reasons the king chose her. But honestly, me looking at her, she, she, you know, one doesn't need to be told that she can make a good queen for the king. Fingers crossed. And I pray and I wish her luck that yeah. she stays. Okay? <laughs> hey guys, so hey, hey guys, we're having a, a, a new queen too. Yes. So, yes. Let's do all things. And the gossip, let's do the gossip. <laughs> <laughs> If you're here to talk to me about JT, I am sorry I will not listen to you. You're taking this too far. Am I? Oh, you mean you're going to sit down here and act all judgmental over something you know nothing about? Why are you doing this? You told me you've forgiven him. Yes, I have forgiven him. But I cannot forget what that idiot did to me. Idiot, you say? Come on, girl. 
he is not the only guy that has cheated in a relationship. What did you just say? Why do I have a feeling as if you're trying to justify what he did? No, baby girl. I totally condemn his action. I condemn what he did. But you can't keep reminding him that he cheated on you every day. Let it go and make it a thing of the past. And that is exactly where I have kept him. In the past. Come on, girl. This guy loves you. And he has proven that beyond every reasonable doubt. <laughs> That I'll feature porn again now. Is this what you call love? Eh? And yet he cheated on me. Maroko go get more biko. It's a mistake. I want you to understand that part. It's a mistake. And he is not above mistake. Listen, I am done discussing JT with you. Go back to him and tell him that I said it is over between us. Rubbish. Return JT, 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 JT. I don't do again. I do, girl. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you too for inviting me. You're welcome. I invited you here because I need to know when you want me to come see your people so that we can kickstart the process. Our traditional marriage. Your Majesty, you can just pick a date and I will talk to my parents about it. Uh, 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 okay, Savior. That's not how it's done. I am the one visiting and not the other way around, so they would have to pick a date. Eh? <laughs> but you are the king. I am the king, a custodian of our tradition. I cannot do things eh? the other way around. I am the king, but it would be impolite of me to budge in on your family. Huh? Tell them to pick a date. And I promise you that whatever dates they pick, I am going to work with. Greetings, oh, okay. Your Majesty. Uh, I'll wait for you, Rudy. You're welcome. I greet you. Your Majesty, I desire to speak to you alone. Please, eh? Excuse us. Your Majesty. Yes. Your Majesty, it's obvious you've made your choice of wife in her. Oh yes, I have. In that case, first things first. You have to set the process of making a your wife in motion. Secondly and most importantly, you have to intimate her on the ritual of her acceptance. A process where she will be connected to the spirits of all the queens that ever lived before her mm -hmm. in this Yonato kingdom. Once this is done, she will be able to ascend the throne as the queen mother of this wonderful kingdom. Of course I know that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I assure you that very soon we shall set the ball rolling as regards um, the traditional marriage. Oh, yes. Um, I am going to talk to her about the ritual and revert to you. Um, it is okay. That will be all for now. I'll be waiting. Dad. Your Majesty, I have to be on my way now. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, greetings. Greetings, my dear. How are you? I'm fine. My name is Adugo. But you can call me Ada. Okay, my name is Jane. What a nice name for a beautiful maiden. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I want to take a walk around the palace. Please, can you show me around? Why not? I'm at your service. <laughs> no, you're not. I don't get it. Why? Because I am not yet the queen. And even if I become the queen, we will operate as equals. You sound like the late queen because that is exactly how she treated us. Because that is the right way to treat people. Can we go now? Sure. No, 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 no. Let's take this way. Oh, okay. Thank you.
What am I going to tell Angrika? I made her believe the king was going to marry her. How do I keep my mouth in explaining this? I never saw this coming, honestly. I didn't see this coming. This is the most difficult and confused state of my life. How do I explain this? No, though I've been indoor for some days now. I thought as much. No wonder I've not seen you for some time now. I mean, this village, oh, I didn't get anywhere. I'm around. You look good. Come. <laughs> oh, Jade, yes. Jade. Anyway, I wanted to see um, Adugo. I want her to make some dress for me. My dear friend, you will not believe who Ada went to see. Who? Oh. She went to see the king. The king? Mm. The, uh, I hope she didn't commit any crime. Not at all. The king wants to marry her. Huh? She has gone to the palace to be introduced to the king's cabinet. <laughs> wow! So very soon Adugo will become the queen of this kingdom. You can say that again. <laughs> Anyways, I'm happy for her. I'm this is the good news. I have to go now. When Adugo comes hmm. out, I'll come back. No problem. I'll bring the dress for her. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Oh, ciao! You're very busy. My friend, my friend. Yeah, join the oh, ciao! <laughs> All right, we'll see you later, eh? I will tell her that you, you came, eh? The question now is how do we take care of her? That is not a problem, eh? I'm already I will take care of the situation. It's nothing. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Maybe you should tell us how you intend to do it and what you intend to do. Exactly. Listen, the agreement is to frustrate her out of the palace. Right? Mm -hmm. That is exactly what I am going to do. In fact, I'm already on it. But how long will it take her to be kicked out of the palace? Uh, the movement starts this night. See, please, time is of essence here. Give us time frame. How long? Um, I guess two weeks. Two weeks, yeah, she's out of the party. Two weeks. I, I think that's fair enough. That's fair enough. That's fair. That's a good one. Please. Immediately she steps out of the palace, our guests will move in. Right. So that we don't experience this type of thing again. Yes. As a matter of fact, our girls are standing by. Yeah? They're only waiting for instructions. Mm. <laughs> they are there, eh? Oh you get the other they are there. So, uh, it's, it's not too old, eh? We don't go. Because in my, eh? I'm each other, eh? When there's Zenon speaks, he has spoken. Yeah? yeah? And I always get what I go for, except I don't go for it. <laughs> Let me get us something to, eh? Oh, my. Oh, my. Trust me. Let me get you something to. <laughs> Brother, you sent for me. Yes, sit. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, my princess. I am what it is. Brother. This is Adugo. The one I told you about. I called you out here so that the both of you can get properly acquainted. Okay. Adugo. Your Majesty. This is my only sister. I call her Anya Wototo. The bright morning star of Isio Yanato. <laughs> I love her so dearly. Given the fact that you're going to become one of us very soon, I thought it wise to call her out so that the both of you can get properly acquainted. Huh? 
I'll excuse the both of you so that you can talk. Okay, Your Majesty. <laughs> All right, brother. Greetings. Greetings, Sergeant Grace. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm good, as you can see. <laughs> so once again, you're welcome to the family, okay? Thank you very much. It's very simple. You don't have to do much. All you have to do is be a good wife to my brother and he will make you the happiest woman on earth. Certainly I will. You promise? Cross my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Come here, give me a hug. Mm. After you, why are you running like that? Eh? Ah, you won't believe what I heard. What did you hear? I heard the king is getting married to a dugu. They tell her. My friend, stop it. Ah, uh -uh. what kind of talk is this? The princess told me herself that she will introduce me to the king very soon. So what are you talking about? Maybe the princess was only teasing you now. Eh? As we speak, listen to me. Eh? Introduction between the king and Adugo to the men in council is going on in the palace. Ha. IJ, IJ, please. If this is a joke, just stop it now. Stop it. It is not a joke. Eh? My dear friend, if you want to verify it, you can actually call the princess yourself to confirm it. On this sacred AK market day, I pray for the men and women of my land. I pray that the things they will eat shall continue to come to them. And the things that will eat them would never come to them. They shall continue to be like tomorrow, for tomorrow has no end. I banish sorrow from the midst of my people. If anyone must shed tears, it must be tears of joy. The young shall grow to ripe age. And the aged amongst us shall join our ancestors peacefully. I hereby banish every spirit that triggers marital disputes. On the sacredness of this offer, I hereby declare and decree that wives shall not kill their husbands and husbands will not kill their wives. The barren amongst us shall be fruitful and the fruitful would never lack the means they need to raise they are young ones. I pray for love. I pray for good health. I pray for unity. I pray for long life, peace, and prosperity on all of us for the rest of our lives. And so shall it be, Oneke, 
Thank you for your patience. Greetings, princess. Of course, you know I can do anything for the good of this kingdom. Time will tell. My princess, I've always known that you, you've always doubted my loyalty to the throne and to the kingdom. But with time, you will know where my loyalty truly lies. Talking about where your loyalty lies, it's not why I asked you to stay back. And so why did you ask me to stay back? What do you think about the Lady Adunko? Do you think she will make a good wife to my brother, the King? My princess, I don't know about that. How, how do I know it? Well, you just saw her an hour ago. Yes, I saw her an hour ago. But I'm not a seer who has the gift of telling what people will become in the future. I don't have that gift. Obuefi Rudike, you don't need to pretend. Everyone in this kingdom knows you are fetish and diabolic. With all due respect, my princess, you don't even know me. If you know me, you wouldn't be saying this. I don't need to know you. If I want to know you, I will know everything about you. What I know is that you have no reason to have invited me here. And I beg to take my leave. Wait. I do not have a problem with that. But I know you know that deep down, I have said something crucial. Something that touches your heart.
Every time your hand is shaking, do you always plug your hand where you should? Where you should not plug that is not your business. <laughs> are you going I'm out? Uh, of course, I'm going out. Yes. Where are you going? As a matter of fact, I'm going to <clears throat> see the boys that are working on my site. Oh. Uh, that means we came at the wrong time now. Ah, uh, no, not really. No, 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 no. Uh, about the girl. Yes. Ah, listen. I already planted the smoke of set aside. Eh? <laughs> Very soon, she'll be kicked out of the palace. Bam, really? <laughs> yeah, nah. uh, really? Uh, I you know we cannot, we cannot always trust you. Uh, uh, I told you. <laughs> you can say that again. Let me tell you something. There is no way she can escape the spell she inhaled last night. Okuri <laughs> ekru. Babiko, do you mind telling us what this spell is all about? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> you don't want to know about that. <laughs> yes, yes, no, no. Yes, no, no. This man, eh? Yes, no, no. <laughs> Please, eh? why don't you walk down to my set? Eh? There is a woman I asked to bring me some palm wine. Hey, hey, what are friends for? Hey. Without pleasure. I, got, I, you, I know you. Are a <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. go. Your Majesty. I am deeply sorry, please sit, for keeping you waiting. I. No, it's okay, you can sit down. Thank you, Your Majesty. I had this um, business meeting that um, needed my attention on the phone, so I had to quickly take care of that. But I'm here now. Um, please, oh. go ahead. Thank you, Your Majesty. Adugo, first of all. I want to say congratulations to you as the chosen one. Thank you very much, Uwefi Rudike. You're welcome. Now, as the queen elect, so to say, you'll be made to undergo a process that is called the ritual of connection with the ancestors of the land. Hold it right there, old man. What did you just say? I, Adugo, we do what? No, no, no. Don't misunderstand me. It's not the kind of ritual that you know. Listen, this is a ritual that is deeply rooted in our culture as a people. And we cannot do without it. Please, please, don't, don't even try it. Don't patronize me with this tale. Ritual is ritual. I do not partake in your tradition. Now tell me, why do you want to get me entangled in your rituals? My king! Why do you want to get me entangled in your rituals? Adugo, calm down. Calm down. Please. When you do not understand something, then it has a power to upset you. But I need you to trust me and trust the process. He told me about it. I gave him the go-ahead to have this conversation with you. So please, calm down and let him finish. No, my king, I will never let him finish. Already he has said what you both want from me. I will never go through any ritual process. Not today. Not tomorrow. Never! Hey! Your Majesty. A woman that is not even married yet, walking out on the king? Your Majesty, you will talk with her. But that will not dilute the fact that she has been recorded in the annals of history as a Tufiagwa. May the gods forbid! But oh, Wifi, this happened here. With just you and I in my living room, no one else knows about it. But oh, Wifi, I would like for it to remain that way. Please, let me talk to her. To Fiakwa! May the gods forbid! To Fiakwa! May the many gods forbid! To Fiakwa! May the gods forbid! This is rubbish. They must be. 
be joking by thinking that I and Dugo will undergo any form of ritual process because I want to get married to the king. Never. We'll never do it. To never happen. What nonsense. Adugo. It was very wrong of you to walk out on me and each year with the king the way that you did. Where that man said what I don't want to hear. And the only way to let him know that he is talking rubbish is to walk out on him. That singular act of yours is an insult to me, the king of Isio Yanato. And also an insult to the prestigious Zenozo institution of Igbo land. A way for Rudike that you had just worked out on is not only the essence of Isio Yanato, he is also the authority that initiates new members into that prestigious institution. You do not have what it takes to work out on a man of that caliber, Adoko. Uh, well, I'm sorry I didn't say it that way. That apology should be for a wavy Eurydice, not me. Under no circumstance will I apologize to that man. I won't. You will apologize to him. I do go. Nalani. I do go. What we're asking you to do is not evil or diabolic like you think. It is a ritual process that enables you to become the queen of Isio Yanato. Really? I guess he sent you to cajole me into that diabolic act. Well, go back and tell him that I will never do it. I do. I am the king of Isio Yanato. A first class custodian of our culture and tradition. No one can cajole me. I speak the truth. I talk about the tenets of our tradition. Getting married to me and being my wife and becoming the queen of Isio Yanato are two different things. They are worlds apart. He has briefed you. It is so obvious that he has briefed you. Well, like I said, I will never do it. I do go. We are saying what we are saying to you so that you can prepare your mind. And also understand that this ritual will be carried out immediately after our marriage. We are not asking you to do it immediately, no. Whether now or in future, my king. I said I would never do it. Your majesty, I have already accepted my new faith. And I cannot do that, which I already rejected. I can't. It's against my faith. Please. Please, just... My dearest friend, how do you feel? My princess. You do not need a suit sayer to tell you that I am not happy. Only you have to stop. You have to be fine. How am I supposed to be fine, my princess? You gave me high hopes that the king will marry me. Now that hope is dashed. Where do I go from here? Only please, I am sorry. I am sorry. I, I didn't know... My brother had his own plans. Oh, you would I, have I, verified before telling me. That is a big mistake on my own part. God. And once again, Angoli, I am truly sorry. I am deeply sorry. Why me? Why 
Why me? God. God, why? Why me? Please, can you stop? This is not the end of the world. Oh, to me, it is the end of the world. Why would you even say a thing like this? Who knows? Maybe my brother might still marry you. How is that even possible? Are you wishing your brother a polygamous home? You know I wouldn't support my brother to marry two wives. You know I will never do such a thing. I don't think he still wants to marry me. Listen, I may sound very optimistic, but I, I have the strong conviction that you will be my brother's wife, but I don't know how it will happen. And that is why I am doing everything I'm doing. Just do stop. Stop it. Just stop deceiving me. Stop it. Angoli, you know I will never deceive you. I am telling you how I feel. And I am telling you right now that that your feeling is wrong and it will never materialize. Can you try and be optimistic a little? And I will never say he said to those words that just came out of your mouth. Your Majesty, what did she tell you? She's still insisting on not um, performing the ritual. Who does she think she's getting married to? An ordinary man? If she must know she's getting married to the custodian of the Ofa of Isio Yenato Kingdom, and for her to be interwoven in marriage with such a man, she must be part and parcel of our tradition. You know it, Your Majesty. All of these things I have explained to her. And she is still not ready for it? Your Majesty, if she is not ready to submit, I am afraid you have to look elsewhere. <laughs> you really can relax. It has not come to that yet. Uh, Your Majesty, I can ignore the sacrilege of our walking out on you. That is because the king himself has decided to forgive her. And that ends it. But on the issue of her becoming the wife of the custodian of the four official United Kingdom. She must submit to the spirits that will connect her to her ancestors. That is our tradition. Your Majesty, you know it. It is the tradition. Oh, with you. I understand how you feel. I understand your position on this matter. But I implore you to please give me time. I promise you by the end of tomorrow, at most. You hear from me. Hmm? You are the king. Your word is law. I beg to take my leave, your majesty. It's a foolish man that thinks he's wiser than the God. It's your 
What are you doing here all by yourself? Ogin. Angolika. Wait. You are crying. What is it? Why are you crying? Mama came po. What is in Keme po? I'm finished, Mama. You're finished? What finished you? Mama. Eh? Mama, the king has married another woman. That is not possible. See, the king has married another woman. It is true, Mama. It is true. Tell me. But you told me that the princess has showed you that the king was going to marry you. Is it me? It is true. That was what she told me. But she never knew that the king had other plans. Hi! This is not good at all. Who gave you the information? I heard it from Ijoma first. Then I confronted the princess and she confirmed it, Mama. Hey! Chimo! I've been here planning on how to be the mother of a queen. Nelolo! What about me, Mama? I've been here thinking on how to improve the well-being of the women of our kingdom. Hey, now look at it. And we have been planning. <laughs> planning, Mama. Hey, this is a very big blow. Hey. This is not good. A big blow. Chimo. No. IG, can you talk to me in clear terms so that I will understand what you mean? Um, JT, I don't know how you're going to feel, but Anlika said she's no longer interested in your relationship with her. <sighs> did, did she say so? Yes, she did. Did she tell you why? She's still holding on to what she did. But I have already apologized to her. Huh? I even bought her a gift to make sure all are in the past. But she's still holding on to it strongly. <sighs> okay, so what do you advise me to do? <sighs> I, I would suggest you give her some time. Maybe one week or some months before you go back. So, you think that's the best thing to do? I think so. Okay. All right. Thank you for the advice, okay? You're welcome. Thank you. Ah, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. I can see you are enjoying yourself and getting acquainted with the palace. Yes, my princess. 
And I must say that the royal family has a massive palace here. <laughs> Very massive one. Oh, thank you. I mean, uh, people say it a lot. But thank you for the compliment. But that is the truth. <laughs> if you say so. All right then, let me leave you to continue with your tour while I freshen up, okay? Okay, my princess. Mm -hmm. I hope you're good. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> my... Money, jewelries, other things, very expensive things are missing in this room. Now, who amongst you took it? It's not me, my princess. It's not me, too. My princess, none of us came into your room in your absence. Exactly. My princess, we understand the oath we took, so no one goes stealing in this palace. My friend, will you speak for yourself? Sorry, my princess. My princess, please. She is speaking for all of us. No maiden who bears the cup of the king who will go stealing in the palace. Will you shut up? What nonsense are you telling me? I am telling you that my things are missing. Things you are supposed to take care of is missing and all of you are saying none of you took it. So if you did not take it, who did? None of you can talk anymore. The cat caught your tongues Now listen and listen good. I'll believe you today. But be rest assured that I will find this thief. 
and when I do, and it happens to be any of you, <laughs> you will face my rot. And trust me, you don't want to. Now get out of my room, all of you. Greetings, Your Majesty. Money in my briefcase is missing. What? Do you know anything about it? Your Majesty, no. No, I don't. After dropping your briefcase inside the wardrobe, I left and I haven't gone back there. Your Majesty, you know I can't steal from you. I do not want to believe that someone walked into the palace, went to my room, opened my briefcase, and stole my money. Get the car ready. We live in 30 minutes. Okay, my, Your Majesty. It's a foolish man that thinks he's wiser than the God. He's young and not all yeah. Alone and rest. I'm in trouble, please help me. What happened? What is this I tend for? I mean, I don't understand. The same thing I've been asking myself. I told them. I've been stealing since I stepped into this palace of Pope Betty Steve. What? I'm stealing. I'm stealing. I'm stealing. Please. Me. Hi. How? How? Why? The most annoying part of it all is that I steal what I don't even have need for. Oh my goodness. I mean. This is serious. I know. Okay. okay. What do you want me to do? Anything, anything you want me to help me to save me. Please. I'm, I'm, I'm not a thief. I know I'm not a thief. How, how about you? No, just figure out something. Just please. Please, 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 Someone came into this room and took my money and other personal belongings. What? When? Today. How? My prince? What was that person thinking? Oh my god. I don't know. And that is why I have sent for you. Andy. My princess. I need you to find out who did this and why that person had the gut to come in here and steal from me. No problem, my princess. You can go now. Thank you, my princess. My princess, I won't want you to get bothered about this. We will surely get to the root of it. Not at all. Thank you, my princess. Have you been able to talk her into going through the ritual process after your marriage with her? Unfortunately, she... She still insists on not performing the ritual. That means she is not your wife. And so you have to start looking for another maiden. Yes. Not so fast away if you really care. Relax, calm down. Your Majesty. 
she will not hold us down for so long. It is well understood that our religion forbids her from doing the needful. Mm. But we are traditionally minded people. Our tradition and customs are part of us. And we are not ready to throw them away because of what was brought to us. Your Majesty, it is even good that we are talking about this at a time like this that you are here to be married to her. Otherwise, it would have been so disastrous that after getting married to her, she refused to perform the ritual. Your Majesty, if you ask me, I will tell you that your best bet right now is to take another wife. And I will tell you, Irudike, that I am in love with this girl. She means a lot to me. Your Majesty, I am surprised that you are sounding this way. Do not forget that you are the king. And you are not supposed to display any form of sentiment in your judgment. But I am human. And I have feelings. Being the king does not make me less human. And so where do we go from here? I will keep talking to her, Wafi. I'll continue to persuade her. I believe that um, with time, she'll come around. And that luxury of time is what we do not have. The women of this kingdom are in dire need of the services of a queen. Do not be surprised that they will lead a protest to the palace sooner or later. And how would you like that? Well, I trust you not to let that happen. Your Majesty, our women are that powerful when they push for something. There is little or nothing you can do about it. But we can give this time A little time. And the one that I found turned out to be a thief. What do you want me to do? Well, this is where I come in as the princess of this kingdom. I have a young maiden in line. She is beautiful and um, of good behavior. And I'm sure you will like her. Hmm. How well do you know this person? I've known her since childhood. And I can beat my chest that she is a good girl. Where is she from? Of course she's from this kingdom. Come on brother, you don't think I'll be stupid enough to bring someone who is not from this kingdom. She's a daughter of the soil. What family? The O'Connor's family of Ititi Kingdom. Bring her in. Thank you very much, brother, for trusting me on this one. And I give you my word. You will like her and she will not disappoint you. I hope so. I'm sure. Um, I beg to take my leave now, brother. <laughs>